climate change action is really at the center of development. It is really at the center of security, of stability in the world, and that we cannot separate this action from the rest of the areas of the development agenda. I very often say this is an agenda where we need everybody to be, to be part of. And uh, this was really what made the Paris Agreement possible. Uh, the fact that we have 164 countries that have ratified and over 190 that have signed, it really it is an indication that everybody needs to be, to be there and to be part of the transformation process. We have, in this case, an agreement that entered into force four years before it was thought. People were thinking in Paris it would enter into force in 2020. No, it entered into force actually in 2016. So now we have to accelerate the work in order to make it fully operational. And the fact is that the US will continue to be part to the Paris Agreement, at least at, until 2020, because this is um, the, according to the provisions of the Paris Agreement. But we also see lots of initiatives by cities, by business uh, in different sectors, uh, by uh, groups of civil society. So I think that we, we really have uh, lots of sources of leadership. So it is a, a framework that recognizes uh, that these uh, actors also need to be taken, uh, not only taken into account, whose contribution is absolutely necessary. I believe we are in a, an in international system when, where it's becoming every time clearer that decision making is not only done by national governments, but that cities, regions, and other stakeholders do play a very central role in fulfilling the, the goals of the Paris Agreement. That framework uh, so far really reflects a major achievement by the international community. And I think that now really the task is to um, make it work.